I'm Helen Nightingale. Well, I've been working as a freelance musician in Los Angeles for over 30 years, and I've worked with some of the most amazing directors and producers and musicians uh, in those years and, and kind of seen the process, how it all fits together, from small films to the very big blockbusters. Lynn is in his 70s. I think he has two friends he had who died of ALS. Um, and Lynn himself had a very aggressive cancer that was a very much of a wake-up call to him. And he started really looking at his mortality. So when we looked at the script, he just felt as if it was him. He could get into that mindset, details of ALS itself as a disease and the, and the degeneration. And his real love is his cello. And I mean, he still plays phenomenally in spite of the fact he will not be able to play eventually. And so as he's at a point in his life where he's asked less and less to make music, he struggles with who am I? What do I, what does it mean? Where, what, what am I worth? And I think that is something that a lot of people deal with as they get older. You can no longer create and share your gift with Elgar, uh, having a piece of music that the character would have chosen to be their swan song, which was in reality truly a swan song. There are many people who might see this film who will understand that. For us, it's so much harder to imagine making that choice, and, and, and death is very difficult for people to talk about. My experience with song in, in film, and especially song at the end of film, is it it, it can really bring the experience to a close in a very positive way. And it embodies everything about what that movie was about. I want it to be told from the standpoint of Olivia. This is Olivia's song. This is her way of saying not only goodbye, but I, you're always there with me. And being able to give death a song that is uplifting at the same time. Oh gosh, I hope people see it and love it and cry and want to start a discussion in their own lives, in their own families, about what, what it means to them and what they mean to each other. <laughs>